Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be using and comparing against each other your classic name brand plastic that the color is black against Rust-Oleum Vinyl Wrap. I have used Rust-Oleum Peel Coat in the past. Um, it was a pretty not very good product, but I was recently at Walmart and I saw that Rust-Oleum offers what essentially looks like the same thing as far as a peelable paint goes, but it says that it's actually a vinyl wrap instead of like a peelable paint. So I picked one of these guys up. The color is gloss white and we are going to be comparing it against the standard black Plasti Dip. Let's get started. For this test, I will be using two identically shaped pieces of plastic. One's black and one is gray. These are like the, uh, the D portion of like the F-O-R-D Ford lettering um, from a uh, aftermarket Ford Raptor grill that goes on an F-150. I will be following the instructions on both of them to a T, applying the same amount of coats to try and keep the process as fair and balanced as possible. I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like, and then I'll show you guys how easy or not easy they can actually peel off, because that's the whole purpose of these types of products, right? It's a temporary solution. Um, you're not committing to anything permanent. You can put it on if you like it, great. If you don't, you can peel it right off. So I'm gonna include that in the process as well. Okay, so we've shaken up all the cans. They're ready to start spraying. I need to note that after reading the directions on both of these, the vinyl wrap from rust says that you only need five minutes in between coats, whereas the Plasti Dip says that allow 30 minutes minimum in between coats. So I will pretty much have the entire vinyl wrap portion done before I even start on the second coat of the Plasti Dip part. Alright, so this is coat number one. The uh, bottle did say only aim for about 50% coverage on the first coat. Um, it is an extremely wet product as you can see. There's some globs right there. One, two, at least three globs that I can see right there. But hopefully that'll all smooth out um, as we start to add more coats. And we've got the same concept for the Plasti Dip one. We're only going to hit it with about 50% coverage per the instructions on the first coat. And I just assume that these things will smooth and even out as we apply more coats. Okay, that's the second coat that's gone on. Um, I know I said this already, but the, this product is very, very wet. Um, if I had to compare it, I would honestly say it's a lot like the Hyper Dip, um, which is the new product from DipYourCar.com. I use these to paint the wheels on my 2020 F-150. Um, I'm, I'm not comparing like the quality or the longevity or the durability of it to, um, to, the, uh, to the Hyper Dip, but I'm just saying as far as texture goes, this is a far more wet product, a far thinner product, than your standard Plasti Dip. Well, I am not going to lie. The more coats that we put on this thing, the smoother and flatter it lays. It actually almost looks like paint, you guys. Definitely have to work on getting these edges right here um, on the next couple coats, but it is smoothing out nicely, very nicely. So the second coat of Plasti Dip is on now. Um, 
as expected, it's, it's still a little rugged, it's still a little textured. We're just doing light overlapping coats right now. Um, because with this stuff, you really won't hit it with wet overlapping coats until the final thing. The final coat, rather, which is what's going to give you that nice smooth finish. Okay, so after five coats with the vinyl, um, it looks fine from a distance, um, but definitely once you get uh, up close, I'll show you guys some of the more details when I finish applying all the coats. Um, like I said, it's a very wet product. Um, you can see like on the bottom edges right there, a lot of it is like dripping down and pooling up and hardening. So there's like globs on all the corners. Um, all the edges are very runny. I mean, like I said, from a distance, looks great. Um, I'm actually a lot more pleased with the outcome of this than I was the Rust-Oleum peel coat. Let's hop over here. This is Plasti Dip. It's, I, I, I don't think, yes, there you go. There's a good shot of the texture right there. Here's a shot of the texture. Let's see if I can get a better shot of the texture. But the, the vinyl wrap is definitely far smoother. Um, but as far as like even coverage and no runs, Plasti Dip is definitely in the lead right now. This is three coats, five coats over there. That guy has been sitting out for a while now. Because like uh, I said earlier, we have to wait like half an hour in between all the coats for this. So I'm going to do um, four coats total on this because truthfully it kind of looks done already. And then I'll maybe do two more light coats on this guy over here just to try and get rid of one of the edges. Actually that is a great shot right now of the uh, runniness and the pooly and the like uh, tackiness of everything right there. Actually just touching it. It's still wet. That sucks. But anyways. I'm gonna finish up putting all the coats that I'm gonna put on, and then we will do um, like the summary at the end where I show you guys, um, you know, total coverage, total quality as far as like, you know, the runniness that I spoke about with the vinyl wrap and everything like that, and then I'll show you guys how easy or not easy it is to peel and remove this product. Okay guys, so everything's been sprayed, everything's dried off, also, yes, this is probably one of my favorite shirts of all times. So, we have hit the white one with, it was either seven or eight coats of the vinyl wrap. And the black one, we only hit with four coats of Plasti Dip. Um, I, I wish I had better things to say about the finish of the vinyl wrap. Um, it, it kind of blows my mind because Rust-Oleum um, 2X Painters Touch paint, spray paint, is hands down, not even close, the best spray paint I have ever used in my entire life. And this is the second peelable paint that I have tried from Rust-Oleum. And to be honest, guys, it's, it's just not very good. The finish is, it looks nice at some parts. It looks very smooth on some parts, but when you get really close to it, you can see that it's kind of like, it's not even orange peel, it's kind of like flaky in some areas right here, especially when you touch it. It's not smooth at all. It's very, very um, textured and whatnot. Um, very similar to the way that the Plasti Dip feels when you touch it. So as far as like overall look and finish goes, they're very, very similar to each other. Um, as far as durability goes, I'd probably say that they're about the same. Um, like I can just take my fingernail and run it across it like that. Um, it doesn't peel up or anything like that. I can actually take my fingernails and kind of hit it like this. Nothing scratches off, nothing falls off. Same with the Plasti Dip, I can do that and you're not gonna peel any product off that way. So as far as like to the touch, um, very generic, you know, durability wear and tear test, they hold up the exact same way. Probably the most important test with this though is how easily it removes, right? Because the whole purpose of these things is that's supposed to be a temporary, you know, non-permanent solution that you can remove and reapply, change colors, go back to stock if you want. So I'm gonna show you guys how well um, the vinyl wrap peels off and then I'll show you guys how easily the Plasti Dip peels off. So like with all these things, you probably wanna just find a corner and start off. For the Plasti Dip part, as you can see, I've already started on a corner right here. I will give it um, some props. It definitely did take me quite a bit to go at it and start getting it off um, with my fingernail. But once you get um, a once you get a part started, you can grab 
Um, you can get a little piece. Definitely start off small with like this little part right here. But as you can see, it does, um, you know, stick to itself quite nicely. Um, you can pull off, you know, large, there we go, large sections at a time. And, you know, I'm, that's, that's still pretty durable stuff. Now we're gonna attempt the same thing. I've already got a small piece started right here for the vinyl wrap. Um, I, man. It's just, it's not, it's very dry, if that makes sense. It's very dry, it's very cracky. When it comes off, it's a lot more similar to paint that's like kind of dry and still very gummy. Um, and keep in mind, both of these products have sat out all night, overnight, um, in the exact same conditions. Um, okay, this actually is, is coming off a little bit better now that I've got a, a larger surface area that I'm pulling on. Um, and it definitely does have some good, um, some good durability to it. You can peel off large pieces just like so once you get a good part. So, um, I still think that the that the texture and consistency is a lot closer, like I said, to like gummy paint that maybe hasn't fully dried yet, um, even though that this guy has absolutely 100% fully dried. Another point I want to point out is that this is, this is only four coats, guys, in comparison to the eight coats that we put on this thing. Um, not only did this not get any runs or anything like that, but like look at these giant pieces. Look at how well this is holding together. This is almost keeping the exact same outline of what we are tearing down right now. Um, you can just pull away like that and it comes off in these giant sections super easily. It's very, very easy to take to remove this as long as you've applied it in the correct way. I mean, I'm almost able to take this off in one giant piece. Like, even just from the time that I've been talking about this, I've almost been able to clean off this entire piece um, with, the, with the Plasti Dip. And again, this is half the coats that we used on the Rust-Oleum. Like, I've almost gotten the Plasti Dip off of this entire part already. I'm gonna try and do the exact same thing with this um, Rust-Oleum vinyl and try and peel it off in one giant piece and I'm gonna see if I can if I can get it to cooperate with me here. The problem is stuff like that. So when you try and get large surface areas to pull on you just have to be so incredibly gentle um, or else it just kind of cracks off. Um, I guess uh, maybe this is a positive thing but the the vinyl wrap is much closer to paint than than like rubber, if that makes sense. So, okay, that's actually pretty good. Once you get once you get a nice large chunk, it does peel off somewhat easily. Um, it definitely does break apart much more easy into smaller pieces. Um, maybe being closer to paint is actually something that some of you will think is a positive. Um, for me, for what I'm using it for, for the purpose, um, I don't want it to be closer to paint because I don't want it to be harder to remove when I decide that I want to, um, you know, switch it up and go with a different route. So there it is, guys. There is the full use, uh, you know, review and comparison from your standard Plasti Dip to the Rust-Oleum Vinyl Wrap. I hope you guys could almost hear the frustration in my voice when I'm talking about like the quality and the finish and everything of the Rust-Oleum product because I want to like it so much. I love their spray paint. The 2X Painter's Touch uh, spray paint from Rust-Oleum is by far the best spray paint that I've ever used with the finish, the way it lays, the quality of it all. However, as far as the peelable paints go, the temporary use kind of stuff, they just simply haven't really caught up um, with the competition um, that, uh, Plasti Dip and DipYourCar.com um, has been using. This isn't sponsored or anything. I just happen to really like their products. They also have a product called Hyper Dip, which is supposed to be like Plasti Dip, but it has a much smoother, um, higher gloss finish, a less textured one. So let me, uh, you guys let me know. Do you guys want me to compare normal Plasti Dip to the Hyper Dip product that they use? Um, if you guys aren't familiar with it, I made a video where I spray painted uh, the rims on my truck black using the uh, piano black shade 
um, Hyperdip. So let me guys know if you want me to make a review video of that, comparing it to anything. Let me know if there's any other products out there on the market right now that you would like for me to you know, use, review, and compare, um, and just give my opinions on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate everybody who has been tuning in. We should be hopefully at 9,000 subscribers by the time this video goes live. If not, definitely uh, hit that subscribe button and help me get to 9,000 subscribers and then ultimately to 10,000 subscribers. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it down below. Or if you think that this shirt is awesome, leave a comment down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you guys on the next video. Peace.